Hello everybody, as promised, I am finally getting around to doing a house tour video. I was hoping to do it in the daytime, but it was so grey and miserable that when I tried to do it, everywhere just looked so... Grey and miserable? Yeah, bleak. Um, so I thought I'd do it when it's dark outside, then at least it'll feel like cosy. Um, Kieran is in the middle of cooking our roast. We're having a roast chicken. Where is he? There he is. Nice boys cooking a roast. Um, so yeah, I will quickly show you around. It's a major work in progress. Everywhere is covered in mud and dust because um, outside is just horrendous. Um, but we've got lots of plans for inside. So this is the house from the outside and I'm just walking up the path. We will do a full outdoor tour, but that may be better left uh, for when it's light. This is the front door, but it's not a front door. And excuse all the muddy footprints. And then you come straight into the kitchen. Hello. <laughs> all right. Oh my God. Oh, what a welcoming. And then this is the kitchen and we've got all of my Sybil house plants up above the open fireplace. And then there's loads of beams, which is really nice. Um, and the kitchen, we can't decide whether we're gonna repaint um, or keep it as it is. Rip everything out. Or, yeah, or rip everything out. And there's a really nice cooker um, in like an old chimney breast. And here is the nice boy, say hello. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing at the moment? Peeling potatoes, very exciting. Peeling potatoes. And then we've got our lovely big table. And then through here is our office, um, slash where some of the dogs sleep. This big pen is for Hennessy, the flat coat retriever, because she can't be trusted not to shred the entire house up. And then this is my desk. And then that's Kieran's desk, where we do all of our work from. And then there's another fireplace in here. There is a conservatory through there, but it's currently empty, so I won't show you that. And then we've got our utility room with the very, very old boiler, which is struggling and getting weaker by the day. There's a downstairs loo, and then we've got our washing machine, and this room is generally just a bit of a tip. Oh, and my David Austin Rose calendar, which I'm obsessed with. And here we have the living room with Piper sat by the fire. <laughs> and Sybil's in her favorite chair. Let me go say hello to Sybil. Hello, darling, you okay? So this is the living room and we've got the sofa that we had at our old house, which we love and is so comfy. And then this is the really big fireplace, which currently gives the house most of the heat. You cold, Piper? Good girl. And then this is the old front door, which someone blocked off with a window, but we are planning to reinstate it at some point. And one of my favorite features is a really nice little window seat. And it's lovely in the daylight. And this is the little tiny staircase which goes upstairs and it's caused us some real issues because we couldn't get most of our furniture up there, including our bed. But it's real fun going up the stairs because you have to like really crouch underneath it and you feel like a giant, it is fun. And then upstairs, this is the room which we're using as our bedroom. We've got the bed on the floor because our lovely bed frame wouldn't fit upstairs and then got some more house plants and this window's got a really pretty view outside and then more house plants <laughs> um, but I love the sloping ceilings because they just give the house so much character and such a warm feel but they are annoying trying to kind of put furniture in and living around this is the hallway these are the stairs that I just came up and you can see getting across here at night is fun, luckily neither of us drink. We've got a dehumidifier from the roof leak because it's still drying the house out. And then this is technically the master bedroom, 
but it's got a really weird energy in here, so I did not want to sleep in here. Um, and there aren't the beams on the ceiling. And then this is its ensuite, um, which has a really nice shower in, which annoyingly we can't use because it just drains straight through the kitchen ceiling. So that's a job for another day. And then the last bedroom, which is back in the old part of the house, because the other bit's much newer. Um, there's a really nice brick wall feature. And then this room, please don't judge. We use it as a dressing room and Kieran has ADHD and yesterday decided to have a go at sorting out our wardrobe because there's wardrobe space the whole way around the room. But as you can see, he uh, got a little, a little distracted, but we'll get there in the end. And then we have the bathroom, which I love, but there's this really low beam, which I smack my head on daily. Um, but it's a bit dated, but it's a lovely room. You can see in the mirror, it's just at the wrong height. And I was literally just about to get in the bath and then I suddenly realized I hadn't done the, store, the uh, video, so I thought I'd do it. I thought we'd uh, just come say hello to Kieran. Hello. Still chopping potatoes. No, this is a Swede. Oh, that's a Swede. For the carrot and Swede mash. Carrot and Swede mash. But yeah, we will, uh, our next video we're hoping to do is probably a tour of the outside, because um, there's quite a bit of the garden, which we've never actually stepped foot into. Yeah. And we're hoping we'll do a little adventure down there and try and make our way through the brambles. It'll be fun. Don't chop your fingers off. I'm not going to. Can you look at what you're chopping? <laughs> this is, uh... <gasps> Can you stop? <laughs> I love a, I love a gasp. But anyway, I'm gonna go have that bath, which I ran myself, and then I cannot wait to have this roast. If I don't die. If he doesn't die. Or maybe we'll be off to A&E with the finger in a bag.